Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how to create Amazon DynamoDB table. It's super, super easy and it will not take you a lot of time. So as you can see, Amazon DynamoDB, it's a fast and flexible NoSQL database service for any scale. DynamoDB is a fully managed k-value and document database that delivers single digit millisecond performance at any scale. So in this video, we'll see how to create a new table to start exploring DynamoDB. So let's click on this create a table. So first thing first, we want to give the name for this table. So let's say we want to name as products. And the second thing is a partition key. Partition key is nothing but it's a part of the table's primary key. It's a hash value that is used to retrieve items from your table and allocate data across the hosts for scalability and availability. So let's say for the partition key, I want to say product product ID. And you can also provide the number or binary or string. So since uh, I'm providing product ID, it will be a string. Next, we can also provide a sort key, but it's optional. So the sort key is nothing but it's, uh, it's used uh, as a second part of the table's primary key. So basically the sort key allows you to sort and search among all items sharing the same partition key. So ju let's just leave it as it is. And second thing, we have a table settings. So we have a default settings and customized settings. If you select the customized settings, you will have more options to configure like the table class. So you can see we have a DynamoDB standard and DynamoDB standard infrequently accessed. So I just want to use the devil settings. It's the fastest way to create a table and you can modify the settings now or after you, your table has been created. So now I just want to click on create a table, but make sure that you can also provide a tags, but it's not a mandatory. So let's click on create a table. So as you can see, the status of this table is now creating. You can see the partition key, which is product ID. You can also see the deletion protection, it's off. You can also make it on. I will show you later. But now let's refresh that. And as you can see, the status shows active. Now we want to go to inside these products. And as you can see, now we have an overview of this table we have a partition key sort key we don't have any sort key we have a capacity mode table status you can also see the alarms no alarms so far we can also see the point in time recovery we don't have one yet we can also see the addition information you can see the table class dynamodb Dynamo standard and more information if you go to below you can see the usage more information so you can also go to indexes so here you can see the global secondary indexes, which allow you to perform queries and attributes that are not part of table's primary key. So we can also monitor, as you can see, we can we have uh, options of alarms, so we can manage in CloudWatch. We can also see the CloudWatch contributor insights for DynamoDB. So we can turn on CloudWatch contributor insights and you can see the CloudWatch metrics here. So we have also global tables. So which, as you can see, we can create a rep replicas. So other AWS regions to which you have replicated this table. And we have a backups. So we can allow point in time recovery. Basically it provides continuous backups of your DynamoDB data for 30, 35 days to help you protect against accidental writes or delayed operations. We have also exports and streams. We can export to S3. And finally, um, we have uh, additional settings where we can also configure, like, as you can see, the table capacity and estimated read write capacity cost. Now, what we want, we want to create an item for this table. So if you go to products, then we have the actions on top. So if you click on that, you will have more options. What you can do, you can create item, you can create index, 
you can create also a replica or you can export to S3 as well. So we want to see how to create item. Let's click on that. So we can see here we have a product ID. This is our partition key and we have a value. Let's say we want to provide some value. Let's say just a random number. Let's click on create item. Before that, make sure you have on the right, we can add a new attribute. You can see we have uh, several options. We have string, number, boolean, binary, null, string set, number, binary set, list, and map. So let's say we want to add a string attribute. And here, for example, I want to add, let's say, first name. And let's say my name, Otobek. And let's add uh, again another string. Let's say last name. And my last name and we can also add a number attribute let's say favorite number let's say 10 and let's say another attribute and let's say boolean let's say um for example, uh, is instructor, let's make, make it install, instructor, let's make it true. So let's click on create item. So as you can see on the bottom item returns, we can see the product ID, one, two, three, four. You can see the, the favorite number. We can see the first name, what's the bag, is instructor true. You can see the last name. So let's create a one more item. Let's say five, six, seven, eight. And let's add a new attribute. Let's say string. Um, let's say simple for empty value DevOps. Let's say simple DevOps. And for the value, let's say Dynamo TB. Let's add a new attribute. Let's say string. Let's say um, free code camp camp for empty value. Let's say Terraform full course. Now let's add a new attribute and add a number. Let's say number of views. This is just a random um, the strings. Don't worry, it's just for example, just in a, to give you some uh, idea. So let's say 10,000 views. Let's create item. So as you can see, we have created two items. We have a product ID, have a favorite number, first name, and we can also see the free code cam here. You can also see is instructor. You can see the last name and number of views and simple DevOps. So what we can do, we can basically scan these items as well as we can also cure these items. So if you see the year, uh, we are now in the scan mode. So we can select the table, let's say products, and we have all attributes. And here we can filter. For example, let's say product ID. We can say the string and equal to and the value. For example, let's say we want to search the value autobag. This is my name. So if you click on run, you can see the query did not return any results because um, we need to provide the product ID here. So the value would be, let's say, 5678. And then if you run it again, as you can see, we have a product ID 5678 and we have a free code cam. You can see the Terraform full course, number of views, and you can also see the simple DevOps DynamoDB. So if we do like one, two, three, four, it will show us our first product ID, which is our first item. And you will see my name, certain last name, and then the favorite number and instructor. So this is how you can scan that, but you can also query that the same thing. So if you go to DynamoDB, we have more options here. We can go to PartyQL editor and here we can see the products. 
So particle editor basically perf adds operations performed using particle editor. Uh, it, it might incur charges. As you can see, you can click on learn more and more, learn more about it. So basically here, what you can do, you can click on this product ID and we can scan the table, you can query the table, table names, set, set items or drop item. So I want to click on these three dots and scan the table. And as you can see, it show us the select star from the products, select all the things from the products. And if you run that, you will see all the items in this table. So that's all about it for this video. In this video, I show with you how to create a table as well as how to create items. This is a quick overview. If you want to learn more about DynamoDB, you can visit the documentation and learn more about it. Thank you very much. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I will see you in the next videos.